David had just had a surprising moment. Alexander Bozdik came, sat down in that chair, and knowing what you had told me this morning, I said to Bozdik, uh, what happened when the two of you sparred together in Oxnard? And he said, didn't go well for me at all. Uh, <laughs> normally, you don't get that honest an answer. He said, the fact of the matter was, I couldn't handle him. He was too strong. He was too powerful. Um, those were not good sparring sessions for me, but now this will go differently. Are you amazed that he would give me an honest, honest answer like I'm that? I'm amazed, and I appreciate his honesty, but uh, it's not going to go any better for him. When I sparred him, I was 21, 20 or 21 years old. So imagine now that everything I've been through, everything I've learned, not only just on the boxing side, but in the strength and conditioning, everything I need to do, you know, to, to make the best, get the best out of myself, is going to go even worse for him. But um, I talked to him. He's a great guy. It's gonna be it's gonna be a great fight while it lasts. But I'm definitely gonna go in there and take him out. I asked him, "How about your jab? It's one of the best in the sport." He said, it "Didn't work for me against it." So again, pretty amazing. Neither his man. jab, neither his jab worked or his right hand worked. I took away all his best weapons, and now that I know exactly what he does, uh, it's gonna go even worse for him. But um, like I said, I'm not I'm not using that to try to be arrogant or try to overlook him. I'm still working extremely hard because I know that those those weapons are there. But uh, it's going to be a great victory for a Team Benavides. We just watched, watched a lot of talk on the dais at this news conference and a lot of references to, quote, the face of boxing. I think you have a chance to clearly become the face of boxing, and I'm thinking that it will be a far more dignified mood than what we saw today. Oh, yeah, definitely. I feel like um, sometimes it does get to that point, that boiling point where people, two men just don't like each other. But at the end of the day, I feel like we want to show all the fighters that we, we, we can be gentlemen of the sport and we could, we, could, we could conduct ourselves with different behavior. You know, well, sometimes you just give two people that don't like each other and that's what you get sometimes, but um, it doesn't have to be like that all the time. But nothing happened in this news conference which would change your approach to your fight. Yeah, no, um, uh, me and my fight, you know, I've, I'm doing a lot of, I'm studying still, I'm doing a lot of homework on this guy. Uh, he's a great guy um, and it's going to be a great fight, you know, and I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you, brother.